Sounds good. Um, let me. We will uh, see if anyone's in the chat. All right, so talk. Hi, my name is Justin, and I'm sick and tired of living here on Earth. Uh, it's completely overrated, and uh, I completely understand Thanos' plan, I suppose. I don't know. Who's Thanos? <laughs> His plan in the movies is actually terrible, to be honest with you. I, I like the comic book version, because in the comic books, he was just madly in love with this chick, and that's why he basically went on this wild rampage of, of death and destruction. Like, they tried to make him, like, noble in the movie, but I'm more into the comic book version, where he was just obsessed with Mr. Stan. It's just funny. I have but, no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, they, they changed his, his Is that motives. Marvel or something? DC or Marvel? Yeah, no, no, yeah. They changed his motives. In, in the movie, he was trying to like balance the universe, but in the comic books, he's just in love with this chick. So he's just trying to impress her by doing all this evil shit, um, which is more relatable, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's uh, it, it's just interesting. I don't know. Like I, I forgot why we were even talking about this. I think I was just rambling. Can, can I hear us? <laughs> I'm trying. I'm checking right now. Um, yeah, I I, no, I lost. Uh, is that DC or Marvel or something? No, Marvel. He, he, he's like, yeah. I don't. I don't, it's, I don't. I've always been Thanos. So it wasn't like a recent thing with the movie. When I was a kid, I had this book I got DC for Christmas, and I had a picture of Thanos like holding the gauntlet up like this, and like a woman on her knees crying next to him, and the, the caption just says, "Thanos defends his divinity. Let the heavens tremble." And I'm just. Since then, I've just used that, like, my left the heavens. I just always really liked that. But, uh, ever since then, I was a huge fan of the yeah, it's not because of the movie. Yeah, I've never, uh, I lost track of all that shit at, like, X-Men 2. It's cool because they... Great movie, actually. Huh? Yeah, that was, that was, like, 20 years ago. Yeah, great yeah. X-Men 2 was dope, though. Do you remember Iceman? Remember that kid, Iceman? Yeah, yeah. That's a, that was a homie of mine for a long time. It was funny hanging out with that kid because, um... Oh, you know the guy that came ice cream? Yeah, ice they're ice? twin brothers. They're Canadian. Um, really? God, I can't believe I forgot. Right now, obviously, off the top of my head, I can't remember. But it was fun yeah, going out with that kid because we go to clubs and shit, and, like, girls would just freak out over that dude. Like, oh, really? ice yeah. man, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, touch this, warm me up, you know? <laughs> it was air. Oh, what were their names? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, they're yeah, nice I dudes, though. Pretty cool dudes from Canada. Um, yeah. The one, the one, see. the one brother was on Smallville, and then okay. the one dude, the other brother was in X Men, and there you you wouldn't be able to tell them apart. Right, right, right. It's kind of a unique well, way of going about Hollywood too. If you're a twin getting into acting and just like, yeah, true. <laughs> whoever wants to go to work that day. <laughs> It'd be funny if like the one twin could like make it, but like the other one just couldn't, and just like you're twins, like. You know, yeah, just kind of swap cool. it out one day, like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> are, are we live? Can they hear us? Yeah, uh, yeah. They said sounds good. Oh. We got the chat too. Uh, oh, okay. So hello, people. It is I again. Yes. Jeffrey's having me back on. <laughs> yeah. You know. Um. Well, I guess we should start complaining then. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Go are you ahead. satisfied with the world, sir? I am wholeheartedly not. Dude, that's what's funny is that me and you have completely different fucking opinions of the world right now. Like this last two uh -huh. years has been the best years of my life. Aside from like not seeing, uh, I'm in family court shit, so I'm obviously not seeing my kids as much as I would like to be. I am seeing right. them, so but that that's pretty much been the only kind of shit that's happened that sucked since like day one of COVID starting. But for some reason, mm -hmm. after having like six years of just like six shitty years, you know, just like where nothing great really was happening, just kind of spanning time, um, just 2020 happened and just the crypto stuff and like I was in, I was seeing a therapist for a while just because of, uh, you know, the judge told us we needed to and like it really kind of helped and just made me like you know prioritize pr prioritize shit and make better decisions and you know just kind of having someone to bounce you know my life off of so that that was kind of cool and I, that was the first time I've entered a relationship in therapy um which definitely helped um but my fucking girlfriend is Dope. and so that's obviously like something that really is good. Oh, dude. Yeah. Um, 
she's freaking unbelievable. And like, I really like, I, I took like almost two years off from dating, which is like crazy for me. Cause I'm like a serial dater. Um, just because mm-hmm. it was like, you know, two kids, two baby mamas. I got to figure my shit out, you know? Yeah, And so, uh, yeah. See, like, when I complain about the world, like, my, my life, like, Justin Padini's life is fine. Like, my life's great, you know? Yeah. But, like, when I, like my, my thing is, is I, I'm not that type of person. Like, I don't spend too much time, like, on me. Like, I'm always, like, kind of observing stuff. And it's it's just how it colossally ignorant these fucking people are. Like, it, like... Bro, you want to hear some shit? I, I told you last time the lust story, right? When the soap last time we did this, I think. About what? Did I, tell you, did I told you the soap story, right? When I was there, the guy tried to laugh me up when I went to the soap store. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I got another very similar story real quick. I'll just tell you. But they, uh, so where I go to pick up my dinner, they have a, they have an express store right there. So they're going out of business because, you know, people like just, you know, are broke. And, you know, a lot of stores are going out here in New York. Yeah. So they had a six, they have a 60 to 80 percent off of sale. So I just went in there just to like check it out or whatever. So, you know, I walk in and of course the girl's just like, sir, where's your mask? And I'm just like, I don't have a mask. She's like, sir, you need a mask. I'm like, why? What do you think is going to happen? She's like, sir, they could shut us down. I'm like, girl, you're already going out of business. Like, well, you know what I mean? like think it over. Like, you know, and these people, man, like they just don't. Think like yeah. it's just crazy to me, you know. Yeah, me, me and Allie. I was, I was telling you earlier about that place, uh, Kern County, where mm-hmm. we've been going. And we want to kind of maybe move, possibly, and um, nobody wears masks out there at all. <laughs> and like, I just automatically go into a place with it on. Everybody's looking at me like I'm crazy, and I'm like, <laughs> "Holy shit, this is dope! Like, this place yeah. is awesome!" <laughs> you know, and like, um, you know, Caleb Leverett. Yeah, I yeah. Love that guy. He's great. Yeah. Dude, he might be moving out here that like this week with his son. Because oh, I, I I I've been um this this place Kern is like little piece of anarchy in California. Like um it's basically full of it's notoriously been historically been a place for like retired veterans to go live at the bottom dollar, you know? But it's this beautiful fucking mountain community um where they have like it's like the lowest property, you know, property tax, everything, just cost of living is super, super, super low there. Property is unbelievably low. Um, like you could buy an acre with a, with a, with a, with a mobile home on it for like 50 grand, 40 grand, um, in California. Yeah. And, yeah, and, and like right by a lake, like v- with the view of a lake and the Kern River and there's like, it's an old mining town, old gold mining town from back in the day. And I'm way into that shit. So like me and Ali yeah. have been going out there for months. Um, but I was just telling Caleb about it because he's in Florida right now with his son. Yeah. And uh, he can't find a place to live. And I'm like, dude, like <laughs> I'm finding yeah, super cheap just, like, shit. Out on the water. Yeah. Like, yeah, you come, you come show with us if you want when we go to AC, but uh yeah, yeah, that, that's what I, yeah, I was just talking about that. Yeah, it's just, you know, we all got to figure link up and figure out. But he's like, oh, man, I'm going to talk to my son. And then he just texted me. He's all, dude, you might see us next week. And I'm like, hell yeah, because yeah, it'd be dope to have some friends. Um, cause, yeah. And especially crypto heads, like, because Caleb, I got, I got Caleb into crypto and he lost his ass. And he was just like you fought me over crypto for years like no dude i don't know i don't know but now he's like yeah. he's way up now and so he's die hard and so yeah, i'm like dude never, listen listen I, I'm, never against, I'm not like against against crypto it, it just, i'm not exactly like forward either i kind of just like like aristotle says where it's like you know you just like weigh something and see how it's it good to have it. exposure to things you know even if it isn't yeah, that much you know what it is i'm just afraid that they're gonna just like shut off the internet one day and then like what's everyone gonna do you know what I mean? Like, that's kind of my fear, because, like, what what would stop them from doing that, you know? I, that would, if that's the only thing you're worried about, then I think we're doing pretty good, because, like... No, no, again, <laughs> like, I, I still, I have some crypto and stuff. I'm yeah. just, like, like, I still, I'm still, like, just, these people have so much fucking power that, like, I'm just yeah. really skeptical. It would be pretty but hard to turn off the like, internet all around the world all at once. That would yeah, be uh, pretty, going to. that would be I pretty amazing. Will. That would be a yeah, pretty amazing no, I, I thing. Think going to. Yeah, it wouldn't because like it wouldn't surprise me because like you know I just explained to people I don't know if it's going on by you but if you notice all the fast food places right they all redid themselves McDonald's Popeyes Burger King etc Taco Bell I told all, you about they that they all rebuilt their structures they're all these now square buildings like all of them. 
Yeah. And just like clearly, yeah, like what's up with that? Clearly the same people own and are behind the same thing if they're doing that. You know, like what are the chances that just coincidentally talk about, oh, we all got to do this at once. No, the same people own all of them or whatever. So the point that I'm making is these people control everything. So it's just like what's real? Just the way the social media kicked off everybody all at the same time, me first. They're like, okay, we got the daily, he's gone. Okay, let's go after everyone else now. And like Twitter, Facebook, Google, like they, dude, you know. they went after you. I've never seen oh, yeah. someone who wasn't like Alex Jones go- gone after yeah. as much as like they went from platform to platform kicking you off, which is crazy. Yeah. And like, what do you even say that that's that's like? Yeah, I mean, you're you're well, controversial, I mean, but like, come on, like, jeez. Well, I felt like I felt at least that I was a gentleman about it too because I'm not really the guy that comes out here swinging, cursing, you know. Yeah, like, you always I'm got a like smile on your face. Coy and clever. I'm, yeah, I'm more like coy and clever, where it's like you can't really get me on it. So that's what happened is that they weren't able to get me on anything because, like, again, I'm just not out there. The guy out there, like, you know, fuck this person. I hope they die. That's not really my style. So, so anyway, when when they went after me, they went back over a year and saw something. Well, I don't know. If you oh yeah, before, but I went, they'll go back I years. Think, yeah. Yeah. And and the funny part was it was actually the post that I made was me making fun of what well, it was like me mocking the the comments. So if anything I was on the same side as them but then because I wrote it they used that as an excuse to completely ban me off the out the whole internet. And it's just crazy. You know, I was I think it was because I was getting really popular on Facebook like not to be like a cocky person but like I was getting big like even with all the shadow banning like people were adding me like left and right it's hilarious. And I, I think they were just like, yeah, this guy could possibly go mainstream. So they're just like, yeah, let's just cut him down now. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I, I honestly do believe that's why. Because it's like, you know, like there's not a lot of people I feel like in like the truth community that could really like reach like mainstream audiences or something like yeah. that. You know, like like Adam Kokesh, like he, he could have when he was actually like, you know, not like a politician or whatever. But uh, like, that's what I mean. I feel, I feel like they just were just like, yeah, this guy could potentially whatever. So let's just wipe him now. Before, because I can't understand what else. Like, why, why are like Passio and like Mark and Rose to like like shitting on me? It's just like what? Well, like, why, why is why is like, why is Tim Pool huge? Why is Luke Radowski still getting big? Right, Have you seen right. how big Tim Pool is now? Yeah, yeah. He puts out like stuff. five podcasts a day, and they yeah. all get like seven hundred thousand views. Like. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's I'm like not. really elementary school shit. Like it's really kind of like this like half woke, <laughs> like yeah. half you, you just say half that, truther, that, that, but then like there's loads of bullshit in it and they still focusing it, you know, they're still focusing on the government and the politicians and it's just like, dude, you guys know better than that. You know that shit's not how it but, is. You know, right? That, that's why, like, what we do with like the One Great Work Network and stuff is like we're we're not pointing the finger out outside of other people. We're pointing it at ourselves. Because yeah. The fact of the matter is, is that the only reason they're able to get away with all of this is because we tolerate. You know what I mean? Like, if it wasn't for people accepting and tolerating this nonsense, it wouldn't occur. So, like that. That's why, like, you know, they know how the psychology of people works, and they know that like everybody's always trying to project blame onto someone else. Like, it wasn't me. It was this person's fault. Or that you know, like Doctor Fauci. Like, oh, it wasn't my fault. Like, yeah. it was. Like, you know? <laughs> so, 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 like, the, that's why we try to teach people like morality and stuff. And that's why I'm always looking to debate people on that because I, I, I can prove like the claims that I'm making. I'm still waiting for Patrick Smith to hit me back about that. I have a feeling he won't though. I have you- to get on him about that. Have you been watching Ron, Rand Paul go after all these dudes? Oh, yeah. Holy yeah. shit. <laughs> and he keeps getting gnarlier and gnarlier. I saw him no, interview like, someone the other day, and he was just like, he was roasting. I mean, I saw the Fauci ones were really good, yeah. but I mean, if you fa- if you believe in any of that shit, like, I mean, yeah. li- it's likely that ever, all, all those politicians, all those people, all of it is bullshit. But... You know, it, it, you know, it has been kind of fun to watch him kind of like browbeat no, all these guys. Say, it, it's funny you say that. I was just talking to my boy about this uh, just last night or whatever. But uh, actually, you, you mentioned the word roast. And I just wanted to point out. Did, did, did you ever tell you this before? But like, doesn't Rand Paul look like a, a like a, a chicken uh, drumstick or something like that? Or like, he looks like he's dying for like a piece of Purdue chicken. Like his head and the hair. Like anytime I see him, I just think of a chicken drumstick. I don't know why. <laughs> Um, but anyway, I, I, I always I always said that for years. But anyway, um, no, no. Listen, I'm not, I'm not a fan of any politician really, other than Ron Paul or JFK. 
But uh, no, Rams has definitely been bringing it to this guy, and he's doing it aggressively too. Like he's not being no, he's, he's being, being like, really aggressive. Like yeah, no, that that's what not, I'm glad to see. He, he looks like his dad. Like that's like. He ra- he rarely in the past has really looked like his dad or spoke like his dad, but how he's gone after these guys, it just reminds me of his dad. Like it's really cool. Yeah, yeah that, that's really the problem because I watched a few other guys like like question Fauci, and they just don't do it with any type of like like animosity or anything. Yeah. They're just like like you know, like when they when they the same thing. I watched the the court hearings with the uh, the Senate or whatever the fuck Tom, whatever the fuck they're called. I don't even fucking know. Uh, and uh, um. And what's his name? And not Dr. Fauci. The, oh, the FBI and how the, what, what the, the the January 6th thing. And yeah. they just won't answer anybody. They just won't answer any questions. It's like all of those people in there are just like include everyone. They're just pathetic. Like these are just pathetic people that there's, oh, we need to do everything by the book. It's just like these people are clearly criminals. Arrest them. Aren't you guys the most powerful or, people? Or, in the all it's a, or it's all a psyop and it's just – more dialogue going along with the psyop, you know, like reinforces the psy. Oh, we gotta sue all these. We gotta go into court, take these people to court, and makes it all seem really real that this yeah. this <laughs> uprising was really an uprising when it was really like this clearly clearly staged event where nothing really happened. Like if that was an actual takeover, they would have burnt the place to the ground, you know, like they wouldn't have all been in a single file line going through, you know, like they weren't, all they did was pick some stuff up and make it look like there was something and they're all climbing on shit. And it's like, no, this isn't, (laughs) this isn't. They dressed like, they were like dressed like we had the wild. Yeah, no, it was, it was yeah. obviously a psyop. Like, well, we got to make them look crazy, you know? Like, have them all dress right, up, right. you know? Like, it's... Yeah, it's like, it's like the guy in Ancient Aliens. Like, I always point out to people, like, they're like, you know, his hair is crazy. Like, do you think that's an accident that his hair yeah, is crazy? Yeah, I know. Like no, like, it, absolutely not. Like, they intentionally do that to discredit the guys. Like, maybe there's some truth to that. Look at his hair. He's crazy. <laughs> He's crazy. You know? <laughs> Aliens. Like, yeah. yeah, no, that, that's what that's what I'm saying. Yeah, alien you know I mean? Yeah. It's like, yeah, man, you know. Um, but like, yeah, that's what I mean. So they just discredit people that way or whatever, you know. So that I've been doing a lot of research into that lately too, with the whole UFO thing or whatever. That's a whole other topic. It's just fucking interesting shit. The, the uh and, and in my opinion, the uh the whole UFO conspiracy was like the OG conspiracy. Um and I mean they've been shoving that shit down our throats since our grandparents were our age and um you know like in it like especially back in the day like growing up watching discovery channel and like history channel and like all these all this stuff and even in school it's like they shove that shit down our throats and then you know it's like anything you see on tv or on the news is bullshit you know like but like everyone everyone has all the alien shit has popped up again um, yeah, because right. because of all the flat earth shit, people. huh? They're, they're trying to they're trying to they're trying to scare people is what they're doing. Because like they, what they, they they realize people are in such a panic now because of the virus and everybody's more susceptible to everything. So they figure if we let them know that aliens are, are real, yeah, and, you know they've been here, it'll just add to their fear. Oh my god, like every oh we need to know, pay our taxes so the government can deal with these aliens. That's right, all right, it is. Right. That's what it is. Right, right. So, and, and like having Joe Rogan, every other guy he's got on now is UFO guy or space guy. And, and Joe just buys all of it a hundred percent. And it's just like, yeah, dude, right, right. Ugh, he's like intolerable to watch these days. But yeah, all the UFO shit is just, you know, pro NASA propaganda, you know, to keep us yeah. scared. Well, I, I, I don't. Yeah, personally, I don't pay too much attention to, like, modern stuff. Like, I, like you know, like, I'm, I'm into, like, the ancient world, like, the hieroglyphs and shit. Yeah. Because, like, again, there are, there are hieroglyphs of these things. You still haven't like, looked into all the Tartarian shit, huh? No, I, I know so I know some about it or whatever, though. The, the thing, it's the, like, the, the, it's the, like you know something about it, but then, like, once you really get it, it's like you really know, like, it's like a whole different thing. Um, because that shit's connected to so much stuff, especially all the yeah. occult stuff. It's like directly connected with the occult shit and all the all on all the Freemason yeah. shit. Well, the, the thing, the thing, the, the thing with the Titari, the, my only issue with that is the timeline. I don't necessarily believe it happened in like 1850, like some of these people are talking about. I like, do. If they were, do you? <laughs> yeah, 18. It was it was like early 1800s, but like really, you know, 1850. From 1850 right, right. to 1910 was a big reset, and like 
it, the more you like the more you gotta kind of hit a wall with this shit you really gotta go down the rabbit hole um yeah. but I'm then not it, i'm not an expert on it yeah. by any means it's just that like my, my whole my whole problem with the timeline thing like if they were saying it happened like in let's say 1400s i'd be a lot more uh on board well with the tartarian thing, like, thing is is that they added a, a one a thousand to our timeline, like our, our Tartarian thing is the timeline's com- completely wrong. Our yeah. timeline that we have now, 1900s, 1800s, is all bullshit. That it was really right. 900, 800, and, the, and the, during the reset, they just put a put a thousand on the end. Um, mm-hmm. That's one of the things. But the Tartarian, uh, what I can tell you about after deeply, deeply, deeply going down the rabbit hole for a better part of a year. Um, it's kind of like my final thought on the Tartarian thing is, is that it would, yeah. it's a very, very good red pill. Um, as you know, we, we are, we're all kind of red pilled over and over again, you know, when we right. go down certain rabbit holes, this is a really, really good, the Tartarian thing, whether any of it's true or not is a very good red pill oh, for I opening see. your mind to the, to the idea yeah. that like, Deep, deep, deep. We everything we know is bullshit, you know. Especially about what happened before in the past, you know. Like, right, right. And, it, and it's like, okay, we're, we're all we're all brought, raised, and and taught that oh, the USA is only like eighty years old, you know. It's like everywhere you go is like, oh, this is ancient, nineteen fifties. Woo, that's super old, you know. Like, and that there's just it was just a barren land for a bazillion years before that. No one ever lived here. No one ever, you know, and it's like, it's just, right, right, the story's right, bullshit. Right. You're like, why? Kill, like, we have like, the best like, weather of any other continent. Why would they, they're never in history. Anyone would have gotten here before Christopher kill, Columbus. Kill, like a hundred million Indians or anything like Dude. Yeah, nah, that. Dude. Well, that's the whole, that's a different part of the Tartarian thing is that they made the Indians were like part of the Tartarians and actually Africans and in, the Tartarians were multicultural, but like that the, the, the Tartarian, a lot, w- one of the thoughts of the Tartarian thing is that, that, that slavery didn't happen. There are already black people here and native people here before. And uh-huh. you know, like, like crazy shit where you're like, Oh, whoa, like really yeah, interesting yeah. stuff, really interesting <laughs> ideas. Let me, let me... Well, so, see, like, my issue, and again, I'm not trying to debate, like, but my issue would be, like, how do you think they covered it up so well then, though? Because if it, had been, if it happened, like, not that long ago, like, within, like, 100, 100 years ago, like, one of my... my there aunt, was like, a like, catastrophic like, event. We're not sure exactly what happened, but there was a catastrophic event that just wiped yeah. wiped the slate clean, and and the, the Freemasons were the first ones here to take over everything, like... A bit, there's the whole thing is the mud flood, right? Because it looks like yeah, at some point about, right? there was just mud everywhere. There was some sort of event that happened that threw water or mud or there was a right. – uh, some people think there was a plasma discharge that happened that just like vaporized a bunch of shit. But there was some sort of catastrophic event that that left a lot of old structures around, but they were all buried in like you know, 10, 20 feet. Of mud, and no, where you go all over the world, you find yeah. old buildings buried 10, 20 feet in mud. Um, but basically, is what happened is that everyone there was a reset. Either catastrophic thing happened, everyone died, or everyone was taken out of the country and then redispersed. So, yeah. so what they think happened was the U.S. There was no one left in the U.S., but most of the major cities were were there for. 10, 20 years just sitting there, you know, like in disrepair. And the Masons got here and took everything back over, cleaned everything up. And then they started bring the, the, the gold rush was the, was the excuse for the mass migration west of all the new people they brought out here. And that's the wagon trains. Yeah, yeah. That's the, have you seen the incubator babies, all that shit? That sounds familiar. Uh, In, oh my God. Especially in New York. Um, so back in the day, I could show you some fucked up shit where they brought they there was a tour that would go during with the circus and with carnivals and shit. There was a incubators, a room full of incubators with babies in them, but they were actually trafficking these babies to families out west. So that the whole world migrated to the west coast 
1849, people from all over the fucking world, you know, there was no one out there and they needed an excuse for people to habitat, like, like just what they did with Israel. Like they needed to like get Israelis or get Jewish people to move to Israel. So they did all kinds of stuff back in the same kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Like you do a bunch of shit, lie to people. They say they spike some rivers. Like there's always gold here, obviously, but they spike a bunch of rivers with more gold than they, then they use their media to tell the world that there's gold in California and you could just go and pick it up and everybody comes out. Yeah. 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 Dude, even when I was a kid, I was like, this story doesn't really make sense. Like there's something fishy going on. Same with world war two, world war two. And gold rush and the civil war and all kinds of stuff used to fuck with me when i was a kid so i'm like there's something missing so the tartarian shit is that that we were all and 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 basically they brought you know children out mostly children who are dumb so if you bring out all these you know people from all over the world all these children you show them they start filling these people up in the cities people don't know about what happened five years ago you know, they don't know about the history. They just moved in there. They were kids. They don't, they just were, t- they just know, all they know is what history books are telling them at that point. Yeah. No, so I you have, like, 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 it would be really easy to fill us, uh, fill a, the whole country, you know, with a bunch of propaganda, all these new people. And you just tell them all that the yeah, story yeah. that, oh, these places have always, or that just got built. These built, these buildings are all brand new, but they were really, they're hundreds of years old. Um, yeah, no, there is there is some interesting evidence that I have seen or whatever. It just like I said, the thing with me is just the timeline. Just see, like I just feel like it would have been more wide. Yeah, all, all the all the timelines are all bullshit. <laughs> yeah, right, right, obviously. But uh, as far as far as we know, our history on the West Coast, at least, is really only eighty, a hundred years old. You know, like a hundred years ago, there wasn't shit here allegedly. You know. Right. right. Uh, literally 1840, 1849, the 49ers, yeah. that's the gold rush. That was yeah, like, like you're to tell us the pyramids are like 5,000 years. Uh, 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 no, Tartarian, the Tartarian uh, stuff is everyone. Everything's way older than what we're well, being I, told. I can confirm that to my studies in ancient Egypt. Cause that's like, yeah, no, the like Egypt it, shit is, it's, is all connected to the Egypt shit. Yeah, no, no, definitely. Like, yeah, that, that's what I mean. They're definitely lying to us about stuff like that. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me if there was a lot of truth. Did you to check that. out that guy, like, Uncharted X? Write that I, down. Vid- yeah, that dude. Before. Yeah, yeah, he's got good shit. Like, he spends a lot. He's devoted a lot of his life to that stuff. Like, yeah, I mostly follow like Billy Carson, Matt Latroy, Robert Sepper in terms of stuff like that. Uh, just because, like, they, they're really more my area of interest or whatever, because they, they get into the whole, you know, it, it's like, like again, one of the reasons I struggle with the flat Earth thing is because, you know, the entire Milky Way galaxy is embedded into the, the Giza Plateau. So if, if the, 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 Earth, the, the flat thing is really true and there's really a dome above us, well, how, how did they, how are they able to measure this off world? Because you would have had to have been off world to have come to these calculations like they couldn't have like how do they have the, the entire earth's diameter embedded into the great pyramid of Giza? you would know, need to know the exact size of the earth to do that you see what i'm saying so that that's one of the reasons i don't really buy into the flat earth thing personally I, again maybe you never know yeah but uh, i'm I, open I, I to everything i i'm open to everything and uh i uh i open to everything the lgbt thing I don't know. I don't know shit. The more I know, the the more I learn. The more I know, I don't know anything. And no, isn't that a song? Uh, Uh, Well, it's a Socrates statement, but they probably turned into it. I'm the smartest man in the world. I don't know. That's like a Uh, paraphrase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, Um, I I I don't know anything. But I I research a lot, and I know what they taught us is BS. So, yeah, you know, not, not to cut, not to cut you off, but that's actually one of my problems with some of the people uh, that like when I when I discuss these topics with certain people, it, it's it's like like, for example, right when I, I told you I was like, uh, like trying, trying to talk to Patrick Smith about this and like, you know, like he's all into philosophy and philosophers. Right. So. And so, you know, which is cool. I'm into that stuff, too. But people seem to like 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 he like writes off, like take like Plato. Right. Plato, one of the most, if not the most famous philosopher, like ever, right? 
he was the guy that introduced the Lost City of Atlantis theory to the world. Like, that was yeah. so long told. He got that from, like, a relative of his. He told Plato, and then Plato was the one that pop- popularized that whole thing. So Yeah, uh, and that was the catastrophic really, event that we talk about. <laughs> yeah, and, and what, what, yeah, so, yeah what, what, what I don't understand, though, is that, it, like, like, some of these people, they'll, they'll take everything that these people say to, like, a T, but except j- just not that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I just find that a little weird. So you believe everything this guy said except he's lying about this? It's the same thing yeah. with, like, Carl Jung. I've, 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 I've debated people who, who they love Carl Jung. But then they'll tell you that symbolism is bullshit. Yeah. But Carl Jung, like the red, but he has books on this, like on that. How are you just going to dismiss? Like you, you love this guy, but you're just going to dismiss a whole body of his work just because? I, you know, I'm, like to me, it's, that's not smart. I'm super against believing in things. <laughs> Right, I agree. Yeah, I don't have. I, I, anyone who's all I believe this, you're, they're full of shit. Like they don't know anything. Yeah, I, I just like, know where the evidence goes. I, you know? I'm I'm saying be open to everything. You know, except the LGBT thing. But yeah, oh. <laughs> no, nah, let leave um, them alone. Like let them do whatever they fucking want. You know, like oh no, they can do whatever they want. I'm just not, I'm just not open to to like experimenting with that type of stuff. I might joke around and stuff, but no, thank you. <laughs> you know what I mean? but uh but, any, but anyway the, the point that i was making is just that like some of the people in the community where like you, you know they take them well everyone thinks they them. know everything that's a thing everyone thinks they believe you know that, that their beliefs are absolutely concrete true and that is the fatal flaw right there is like right. nothing we know <laughs> is concrete not not even science everybody's like oh science this science that oh, yeah. yeah yeah but not even you like know, nothing great for pregnant women don't you know yeah you know great great for pregnant women don't you know yeah it's you know that's what i mean they just throw the word science on it oh well it's got to be true it's almost as bad as the word expert that's like the most ridiculous like yeah. newsworthy hypnotic trigger yeah they just say the word expert and oh, the expert said so if, 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 what exactly is an expert like yeah. somebody who's really went to school longer, read a bunch of books you know yeah one of the one of the points actually, I'm like feel free to and anyone who uses this that sees this, but one of the things I love to bring up to people is actually what you just said about the schooling, right? And, you know, people revere all oh, people went to school and you know oh this person has a degree and this this and that, and which may be true, but like when you think about it, right? Like the people that run the country, right? Didn't they go to the best schools? Like don't the quote unquote most educated people, yeah. the people in charge? Look at what a mess that the people in. driving the country into the ground. They're the ones that are the experts. So. Right, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, maybe, yeah. maybe school is the problem. Maybe all these people with their degrees and stuff aren't really so bright. And maybe it's like, you know, like, I, I, like I, you, you didn't see Shin Godzilla, did you? Mm-mm. No, right? I mean, yeah, well, the, the whole premise to that movie actually is about how the government's completely incompetent. And it's about a bunch of misfit rebels to figure out how to deal with the problem. And, you know, like, because again, it, it, Anarchists. these people are doing their archaic things, these they do everything is archaic. And again, it's just like the, the proof that I just stated is if these people are really so bright and so brilliant, well, why do we live in chaotic shambles? Maybe they're, they're not so smart. It's guys like me and you that are really the, the, the forward-thinking like intellectuals. But, you know, people don't take us seriously because, you know, I look like a Backstreet Boy and you look like a, you know, like a ska band member. Well, <laughs> oh, what's ska. The, what's the day, uh, you, you know, ska. You know, well, I mean, you know, uh, but, you know what I'm saying? It's like, like, oh, look at them. They, you know, they're, they're not wearing a white lab coat. So they, they put yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, what do they know? They, they, look, I was like Julie like, Wood, you know Julie Judy Wood, the nine eleven lady. You brought her. I, I, oh, yeah, you I still? You, yeah, you know you don't look into yeah. anything I tell you about. <laughs> no, 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 no. I do know. I do know you. Talk but she about. has this. She like, open. She opens up her lecture with, with she like walks up and then she picks up this coat and puts it down and she's like, now you guys gonna listen to me she's like, i'm a doctor and like she's a real doctor but she yeah, doesn't wear the coat so everybody's like you're not a doctor you're not a doctor and she's like why because i'm not wearing the coat so she like puts the yeah, coat right, on like, is like, like there are you happy now like it's like a yeah, weird yeah, psychological I'm thing dem- i'm not a demolition expert myself but i mean so that means that i can't tell that a building that wasn't hit by anything fell into itself yeah and it probably didn't fall the way that they're telling us but because i don't have a degree what what could i possibly know you know because that's always an enlightening way to look at reality yeah you know? that's super funny yeah it, like i say people are just so fucking gullible that, that's why i like to mess with people like i said like the girl in the fucking store it's just kind of like like you realize they're going to close your business is closing anyway so it, again these people it, it's really crazy to me because you can just tell they just don't really use their brain whatsoever and it's just like you know again this it's easier for them to just believe whatever they see rather than critically think it sucks yeah and then it's like like i was talking about last time that 
like watching Australia, well, watching New York, people in New York, and then watching the Australians and how, oh, they're so annoying. Oh, it's like one thing to be like bitching about the COVID shit, but then in an English or Australian accent yeah. just makes it a thousand times worse. Yeah, yeah. You're the best of the people, like you see, like I see them, like you see them going around and they have the mask under their nose, but they're still like at the yeah, gym, no, like, wearing a mask, even though you don't need to wear a mask. And it's just kind of like, so if you know that wearing a mask is bullshit, where while you have your nose out, why wear it at all? It's you know? so like, if you can see, if you can see so the ridiculous. air going through the, if you can see the air going through the mask, then it's useless. Like yeah. it's just like you know, it's 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 so it's, ridiculous. Everything yeah, is just yeah. it's it's been fun. It's it's cool. I'm in this mode now where I just don't even like I see it and it's just la I just laugh at it. Like me and Allie just crack up at these people all the time now. Yeah. Where it was like annoying before, and now it's like it was annoying before because everyone was scared. No one knew really what was going on. We just watched all the Chinese videos of people like yeah, covered in blood, yeah. falling yeah. on the ground, screaming and shit. So people were scared, and it was understandable to be like, uh, that looks sketchy. But now it's been so long, and we've all seen so much. Oh, of course. Of course. But I'm saying the general public. But now, two years in, everyone, no one's scared anymore. So it's like, when you're, when you're overreacting, you know, it's just like, I, I rarely, and even in California, like in LA, I rarely see that you know like i've only had a couple times where people have said anything like when i wasn't wearing something or you know it's it's really at least now you know like when i was working no, in the restaurant it was different yeah just just say you're too handsome because if you <laughs> first of all, people that, that's what i do i'll just tell them i'm too handsome i don't need to say <laughs> the, the, the problem is people don't know how to respond to that no like, they what don't they like <laughs> no, what are they going to do? Are they going to call me ugly because if they say that i'm ugly then i can go complain to the manager hey you just call me ugly, ugly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's going on now? And now I'm not a lot of wear. Damn, you know, that's I'm a good one. Now, you know, that's I need fucking to prove funny. To the world I'm not ugly, so I thought that was <laughs> the perfect way to just fuck with these people because they're just not used to someone saying something like that. So yeah. I, I like to fuck with people. It's fun for me, you know. Yeah. So it keeps things entertaining at least. You know, I gotta entertain myself because how boring everyone is. You know. Yeah, it's it's been uh, I don't know, it's been ridiculous, but I don't even you know. It's just, it's been ridiculous so long now that it's just like comedy. It's just funny. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like I said, now they got with the HCI uh, variant coming in France or somewhere. Oh it's so my cool. God. <laughs> yeah. It's just, so did you see the document? The, 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 you heard about the military documents that came out, like basically with the gain of function thing we were talking about with Rand Paul? Uh, no. Well, the stuff in Wuhan. The yeah, testing, like, yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, I, yeah. I can't. I mean, I don't. I try not to spend too much time looking at it because it's all bullshit. But it, yeah, it yeah. seemed it was interesting just kind of watching because Rand Paul yeah. was making it interesting. Like if Rand Paul yeah, wasn't was there, no one would be saying anything about this shit. So it's kind of interesting to seeing him go in there and say shit that like I would say to these guys, and right, you know, right. at an aggressive <laughs> level yeah. that I would use. You know, like he's really aggressive with those dudes and it's kind of cool no that, that's what that's what i enjoy because again like i'm not like a Rand Paul supporter but it is nice no. to see someone like fucking going for the throat yeah did you, know, you see like, the one where he was sick. talking to fauci's lawyer uh, no, that one know. came out recently that one it was almost the best one i've seen like he fucking oh, really? yeah he's that, like yeah. you should be ashamed of yourself and all this shit i'm like whoa yeah, yeah. <laughs> damn dude that's such fucking it's such a fucking joke, man. Like yeah. I said, and all, just all, all of the little jabs too, like the like occult jabs too about this whole thing. Like you know, in Bill Gates is uh, in his the video he did with a stack of books, like lying with statistics and all this Dude, stuff. Dude, the he last was, couple of videos of his, sorry, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. have looked real deep fakey. I, I don't know. If Do you I'm have not. an eye for that shit at all? Well, I did, what do you mean exactly? Like, uh, have you seen the deep fake stuff? All the deep fake videos. Which are like, there's tech, there's a software that you can make anyone's face say anything. Oh, okay, yeah, I don't know too much about that, but yeah, I, I know. Uh, I what's his name? Uh, Snowden's a deep fake. You think so? Oh, so you hundred percent, hundred percent. Oh, really? Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you go, if just go watch a bunch of his videos and just look at him, you can see it yeah. after a while. 
It's you, just, you know what? it's too clean. His, he, it just, there's like, he'll be interviewing people and you'll see, and it's like, that's a normal person, you know, but then they'll go back to him yeah. and it's, you can just, it's just really good Call of Duty CGI, you know, yeah. and you can just see it you after a while. Know. And he'll do all these like mannerisms that aren't really natural, you know, it's getting more refined, yeah. like their technology is getting a little bit better. But if you go back to yeah. his earlier shit, you can see it. You could see that he's not real. Like his hair looks really? kind of a little too polished. You, you know, you know what's funny? I actually know a guy. I was actually the best man in sweating. This guy, Josh, so I, I used to be friends with him or whatever. He literally looks exact. I have to. I'll send you one of his videos after. I mean, it's identical. Like, yeah. like he looks just like Snow, and it's wild. Yeah. It blows me fucking wild. But uh, yeah, uh, as far as that goes, I really don't know. Like I said, you very well could be right. I, you know, I but I don't really pay too much attention to stuff like that. Like I said, I, once I yeah. realized that, like okay mind was about absolutely everything that's when i started studying the ancient world and that's really like the main focus of my interest just because i find it exciting and interesting to learn yeah. all this stuff you know yeah you know like, like i said like when you go into you, you go in like they say like jesus christ for example now i'm not like i'm not like this anti-jesus guy or anything but like they're clearly like lying to us about some of the stuff about jesus and everything yeah. and like you know like off the top of my head like you know born in december 25th to a virgin mother son of god 12 month brothers with him yeah it, also applies to, it, apply, it applies to Adad, Adonis, Alkides, Baal, Crete, Devtat, Dionysus, Eros, Horus, Indra, Krishna, Mithra, Odin, Osiris, Prometheus, Quetzalcoatl, Zul, and Amen Ra. And that's just off the top of my head. There's like 40 Whoa. others. Yeah. You know? So they're clearly they're clearly having an agenda here. You know? Yeah. Doesn't mean, doesn't mean that there's no such thing as Jesus. He never existed necessarily. Yeah. But they're like the same thing. Like Christmas is just about the winter solstice. It's yeah, just about yeah, yeah. Spot, you know? I'm all about, I you mean, know, yeah, so, I know all the, the like, stories have just been kind of redone over and over and over again with different yeah. characters and shit. Um, but yeah, they're all kind of, I mean, Jesus, for, Jesus was a pretty gnarly anarchist. It seemed like, or at least yeah, like yeah. if, if you read it from our eyes, he was, but like, you know, right. all his yeah, followers are status. I, wrote this joke, <laughs> I actually, I wrote this joke that I have to eventually put together, but basically about how I compare Jesus Christ to super Mario brothers too, which is just ridiculous. But, like, the thing is, most people don't know, like, Ma Mario Brothers 2 wasn't really a Mario game. It was a Japanese game called Doki Doki Panic. So Nintendo, when they first put out Super Mario, it was, like, a smash hit, obviously. So they were like, shit, we got to rush another game out. So, like, we don't have another game. So they took this other game and plopped the Mario characters in it, and they just called it Mario 2. And that's really the same thing with the story of Jesus, how it, it was just based on all these other characters. That's, that's pretty there, funny. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the idea. I, I we got to try and figure it. We got to try and make that funny somehow. <laughs> well, there's a lot. No, there's a lot of jokes yeah. that around. I haven't looked. I did that one a while. But I haven't like looked at it in a while. But uh, there, there's a bunch of church church jokes surrounding it and stuff too. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Something about into the wild and into the child or something. Uh, something about <laughs> it, or something like that. But uh, some shit like that. I'm, I'm a weird guy. Yeah. Uh, so fucking but, uh, uh, home. What's his name died. Uh, full house guy. Bob Saget. Bob Saget died. Bob Saget. I haven't looked into it at all, but I heard it like applies to every conspiracy theory in existence. Yeah, basically, it really does. <laughs> yeah, that's what I heard. I mean, yeah. clearly, like even just thinking about it's like, conspiracy. damn. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess the house isn't full anymore. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure no, there's there uh, there was a meme that had like it was the full house yeah. house and it was all room for rent or something. <laughs> like, it was super funny, but yeah, he yeah. he he's he's it's like seven degrees of separation with that guy. He's connected to yeah, everything. Yeah. I, I don't know much about it. Like I haven't really researched it or whatever. But like you know, something I always try to point out to people too is, is that like you know, people think like when you bring up they sacrifice celebrities and like that's crazy. That that's ridiculous. Think about how many celebrities die. Like how many people do you know? In, 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 A lot of been lately. Life? Yeah. They, no, but always lots of celebrities die. Yeah. They're not just dying at random. Like a lot of the, I'm some of them do obviously, but a lot of these people get sad. Back in the day, they weren't dying, dude. No one used to die back in the day, and then all of a sudden, it's like, and then two yeah, days ago, I was on Facebook, and I saw at least ten to fifteen people posting about their grandparents or their parents dying. Like it was just yeah. one after another. I'm like, damn, here's the wave of all yeah. these freaking well, I, I vax people hard. dying. Like. Yeah, crazy. No, I just mean as far as, as celebrities, like the rate in which well, they all did a shitload of cocaine back in the day too. Most celebrities was, you know, all drug Wait, addicts. Again, I didn't. Would you say the cane? Oh, oh, they were doing cocaine. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, no, I, I don't, I don't doubt, I don't doubt that at all. I, I'm just saying that, like, the, the rate 
wise, like the ratio compared to like people that die in like a day to day life compared to celebrities, like the celebrities drop dead like left and right. And again, like uh, do, do people really think all of this is just coincidence? They're just all have to be dying. No, they, a lot of these guys were being sacrificed in the fucking cabal, like in uh, eyes wide shut type shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's yeah. why, like, if you look into it a lot, there are certain gates. You know, like the Twenty Seven Club and all that type of stuff. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, Twenty Seven uh, years old, Kurt Cobain and all those actors and yeah, all them. Exactly, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, like I said, I haven't I haven't delved that deep into the occult stuff, but Allie's like neck deep, and she's been that John D guy. Like his that was kind of interesting. Yeah, oh yeah, John, yeah. yeah, we were talking about this last time. Yeah, I, we, I was trying to remember the name of the guy that he got down with. He was a he was a bad guy in this game New York. I'm trying to think of his name. Um, I can't. But like he, him and John D, like towards the end, they they got into some really dark practice. They were like switching off uh, like wives with each other and all this type of stuff. Yeah. and uh yeah, some dark shit. But they like, were looking, they, they, they were, instance. they had, <clears throat> and that's what, okay, so, the, all, all, the Tartarian stuff, a lot of it has to do with lost technology and machinery oh, yeah. and, and, you know, and, and, uh. You know about the Ark of the Covenant? Thing? Yeah, all, all that stuff, it's all yeah, connected with why, this that's shit. The, that's why they have to replace the people that guard the Ark of the Covenant all the time, because, it's from the ancient world, and it's like it's like radioactive. And yeah. Everything. So they they constantly get sick. So they have to, they have to wear all these special suits, and they replace them a lot because again, this is lost technology from the ancient world. Yeah. So John D and that dude you're talking about were like spying. So there's this painting of that dude, and it and it, and the name of the painting. Edward Kedway. I'm sorry, yeah. That's his name. Edward Kedway. Is Edward Kedway. this guy? Uh, it's a painting, and and it's a guy looking at. A, a a piece of paper, but there's an image on it, and um, yeah. and it's supposed to be oh god, I what is the name of her? Okay, so basically the painting is described as something, but it's actually showing this old tech that they were able to like it. It's a naked chick, right? It's a naked. It's a dude, yeah. two dudes, right. a guy, and a, and an image of a guy over his shoulder looking at a piece of metal. With a naked chick on it, uh-huh. and they call it oh so and so and so so worshiping the god of something, but it's no, they're spying on this chick that's naked, you know, because they're u- they're using this tech, this device that's all connected with all wrong. that shit, yeah. dude. Yeah, like really weird, where it was like a lot of like a uh, lost in plain, you know, lost in plain sight type shit, where it's like where. We've, we've seen this thing a bunch of times and we think the story is one thing, but actually the story is completely something else, you know. But all, all the old technology shit is really interesting. Like, that's oh, where yeah. it really gets me. And, like, the, uh, chem- not, uh, bo- uh, not, not chemistry, but, um, the, uh... No, yeah, that's what I was bringing up when, when, I, when I debated Patrick Smith. Alchemy, all the alchemy stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that I consider myself an alchemist. Yeah. yeah. That, that's what I was, I was the, the, when I was debating him, uh... You, you know, like, again, if you go to these places, like, you, you can't even fit a razor blade, a piece of hair, a piece of paper in between these yeah. stones. They don't use any mortar, and they're so mathematically precise that they're earthquake-proof. Where it's yeah. like, well, how, how, who figured all of this out? And not only that, like, people that want to say, oh, like, slaves built the pyramids and all this nonsense, right? It's like those stones, I think, on they average between, like, like two to 20 tons or something like that. It's yeah. a ridiculous number on average. But the thing was, those stones were actually from hundreds of miles away. Yeah. So my question for people who claim slaves built these things would be like, well, how did they transfer all these stones hundreds of miles away? Because just the Great Pyramid itself is made of 2.3 million of these stones. And then right next to it is the, the Middle Pyramid, which is virtually as big as the Great Pyramid. So right then and there, you have almost 5,000 uh, of these, uh, 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 I'm sorry, not 5,000, uh, 5 million of these fucking stones. So you mean, like, how did they they, yeah. they feed these people? How did they shelter them? How did they give them water? How did, Again. This doesn't make any sense. That, like, that's just not what happens. You know what I mean? And also, too, like, people that say, oh, like, like Patrick's trying to say, oh, they, they, wet the, they wet the sand to do it. Just like, the Nile River didn't even exist when these structures were built. So where did the water come from? We're talking about the desert here, aren't we? Like, yeah. you know? But that's, that's what I mean. Again, applying yeah. that, that same logic to the Tartarian stuff, um, yeah. There are buildings, and it's like it's the same as in Egypt. There are buildings all over the world that, like, we couldn't reproduce today. You no, know, right? Yeah, That's what I mean, like, we don't have the yeah. technology. That, this is what I was trying. And they're buildings, and they're buildings that that were in the in San Francisco, <clears throat> you know, in the late eighteen hundreds 
there were skyscrapers that were like 40 stories tall and they built them, these perfect skyscrapers with no Home Depot, no electric tools, slave labor. Like, what do you mean? Slave labor built these perfect, beautiful buildings? Like, yeah, you know. Actually, let me just point this out, too. Because yeah. That's a good point. Debate, is that, like, if, if anybody knows anything about slave labor, too, because they're slaves, they don't want to be doing what they're doing. Yeah, they're, they're not going to do a good job at it. They're going to yeah, do the exactly. shittiest Literally. job ever. Yeah, they're not going to build these giant structures within a centimeter of true north in the middle even, of the Even desert. if they're being threatened with death, they're not going to do... Yeah, it's impossible. Like, yeah, <laughs> no way. And the only reason they were like a centimeter off or whatever is because they've been there for like 100,000 years. Yeah. And like things have just shifted in the cosmos, you know? Yeah. So it's like... You, you and know, there's been... Like, ca- yeah, just, there's been catastrophic events. Yeah. You know, like... People, people just don't... Yeah, exactly. People just don't want this stuff to be true it's the same thing with like the great flood in the bible now again like i know there's a lot of propaganda in, in these books too but the great flood was written about by literally like every ancient civilization all speak of this so if all these people that had no contact with one another all wrote about the same thing then it's clearly true because how would they all have coincided they just all coincide let's all just make up a lie to trick people that's the mud flood dude from now. that's the mud flood reason, we're just gonna trick them for fun oh let's... are you still there my phone's about to die yeah no, the the yeah, flood, the great the flood is the mud flood. That's what we're all talking about, and that's what I'm talking about. When yeah. they they added a thousand years to it, it was only you know it's like the timelines are completely different, and they threw a thousand years in there because they wanted to spit. They wanted you know they well, they I, wanted I this sure big the, gap between B, BC and now, so we think that all this yeah. stuff you know like it's 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 all it's all intertwined. All of the conspiracies end up connecting yeah, in the end it's fucking crazy <laughs> it's all connected i could connect literally every conspiracy i know about yeah. together right now it's, it's crazy the enslavement of humanity yeah and if that's what it's called that's what the conspiracy is the enslavement of humanity mm-hmm. and all the little conspiracies just tie into one giant yeah. grand conspiracy about keeping us enslaved that's all it is yeah that's all it is you know again yeah. these people that that just want to write the soft it's not even a debatable it. thing all these people want to deb- debate about it it's not even like that you, <laughs> yeah, the, dude, I'm telling you, just listen to the debate with Patrick Smith. I mean, I spun circles around this guy. He yeah. didn't know why. I mean, I was, I was trying to be friendly or whatever because I wasn't looking to debate him. I was just trying to, you know, like get, like basically get people like spark their interest in yeah. this stuff because a lot of the, the quote unquote truth community aren't really interested in the truth. They're interested in freedom, which is great, but you're never going to get to freedom if you don't understand what the truth is. And that's why I try to teach people morality because anarchy won't even exist. If people are immoral, they literally can't. It's not the way the dynamics of the universe are set up. That's the problem. Is the more and more and more. I'm sorry. The more and more immoral people become. Try saying that 666 <laughs> times fast. Uh, the, the more and more immoral people become, the more enslaved they become. And all of history proves yeah. this. Like you can just see. Throughout What's that time, cycle? Like, what's that cycle called? Where it's like right. hard times or, or, read or, strong or, or, people. Or, or, yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah. That's a symbol. That's a symbol they use for it. Yeah. The, the, sna- the snake eating its own tail or the serpent. Yeah. Um, but then you are But uh, but yeah, that, that's the problem. Is these people they just don't want to believe that it's true. And it, again, it doesn't make a difference whether you want to believe it or not. It is true. You know, I'm not saying that every everything I've ever researched is 100 percent accurate. But again, the fact is that I can't get anybody to give me any like logical explanations. You, you know, it, like clearly they just yeah. don't want this to be true. I mean, yeah. I'm not saying that I want it to be true either. Like it's pretty negative. I, you know, it's a pretty dark history humanity has. But in order to, you know, like all like like Carl Jung and all the, the you know brilliant people have said, like in order to reach enlightenment, you have to put your reach all the way down to the bottom and figure, yeah. you know, and figure out, you know, what's going on. So, you know, that that's why, like again, like anarchy. Yeah, it's an interest of mine, but I, I'm more concerned with like human origins and what the fuck we actually are. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. You know, did you so, so you you, you checked out my YouTube a little bit last? Did you get into the Simon yeah, Dan like saga? The, the stuff what with that? that guy Simon Dan. So no, some some YouTuber the named Simon Dan that's got like a million followers or something uh, did a oh, video yeah. about mine, uh, a, really? a video about one of my videos, and then you know me. I know I I I've, I've we went back and forth for a while, and he had I like several hundred of these trolls on my youtube I um, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah and the the dude is just oh he's he's english for one so he's got the accent oh <laughs> uh, yeah so he's 
Oh, uh, so maybe, maybe we should, maybe, we'll, we'll talk further about this. We could probably have some fun because I, yeah, I, it sucked time. because yeah. like yeah. I have all my people on Facebook, my, I don't have a, you know, I have like a few thousand, 3000 followers on YouTube, but they're not like right. people that help go after people. But I got like completely overwhelmed on YouTube by trolls. Well, uh, you know and I was trying to get doing. people from Facebook to come over. They're like, no, nah, I'm not like, cause like Facebook people are Facebook yeah. people. They don't like commenting on youtube you know but yeah yeah I'm this so i i had i got like probably like 500 new followers because of that whole thing Not just because of so many people coming to my page and talking shit it's super funny if you go in the comments but there's like i did a video about him and then he did a video about me he responded because i was i was just trying to troll him because he has a lot of followers so right, right, I, right. I trolled him with a video and he actually responded but he responded to one of my other videos that's really uh -huh. like uh really not very like it's more like theory you know like uh, we're speculating yeah. it's pure speculation he goes after no, one of my speculating, speculating videos doesn't doesn't forbid you speculate on something. doesn't respond to anything i said in my yeah. video goes after one yeah. of my speculation videos and then sends all of his fucking cronies after me and so i i i I did a video about uh, speculation, <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> and then yeah. I did another video responding to his. Like right. we went back and forth even for a while. Speculate, even the word speculation, like spec, it just means to look in. Like yeah, spe like speculating, yeah. like to look. There's nothing wrong with looking into something. You There's know, this guy John like, Levy who like, makes these amazing videos about all the Tartarian shit, and that's how I found Simon Dan because he was talking shit yeah. about John Levy, but John Levy. Every two minutes, he's all, this is speculation, you know, like, he's all, this is, he's right. not saying that any of it is fact, but this dipshit went after him all, where's the proof? Like, freaking out, like, and yeah. so I was just, like, it was, it's, it's a lot of fun. That's, that's, that's another problem I noticed a lot of people have, especially, like, really strict atheistic type people. What they really always seem to, they always, like, you know, burden to proof, burden to proof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, like, I always say to them, I'm, I'm always just, like. Some things aren't yeah. provable. <laughs> Well, a lot of things aren't like, provable. Like, for, for example, like there's an entire portion of mathematics uh, dedicated to this called uh, algebra, where you prove things in the negative. You know what I mean? Like that's my point. Like with the pyramids. Like yeah. okay, so if what you're telling me is, and I don't mean you, obviously, but like what you're telling me is true that slaves built the pyramids. Like I just mentioned, like these stones are from hundreds of miles away. So how do they move millions upon millions of them? Yeah. With how do they with the food? The what? How did they do that? Yeah. That's proof in the negative. Now I'm not telling you I know exactly how they built them. But I do know definitively, and it is proven that they're lying about that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, that's what I mean. You can prove things in the negative. And I just noticed a lot of these people, like the anarchists, they're like, no, no, a lot, like more atheistic people. They're always like, burden of proof, burden of proof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they always think that I'm trying to, like, I'm not trying to, like, say God did anything. You know, I'm not like a, I'm not, like, a yeah. religious person. Or anything. I'm just trying to explain that, like, so, okay, something had to create reality. Something had to create everything. Because that, that's how things work. Yeah. Things get created. Yeah. You know, I always ask these people, like, can you name something that wasn't created? You yeah. know, like, <laughs> everything has to yeah. be created. I'm not claiming that there's some old man in the sky with a scroll. Yeah, or you just call it Mother Nature or something, you know? Yeah, I'm yeah. just saying, like, okay, well, whatever created reality put these laws in place. And, you know, we should abide by those laws because those are the laws that are actually here for our evolution. Like, gravity, electromagnetism, and the most important one, cause and effect which is the foundation and basis of objective morality, where that's what I'm always trying to explain to people. Like, you can just prove by looking at the results of your actions whether it was a good or bad action. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, you know, again, like, if you wanted to, let's say, have sex with a woman, but you went up and raped her, and she's kicking, screaming, and trying to stab you, that's a negative reaction. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, if you have the girl... You found out the, scient you the science of, of that action, you know? <laughs> right. It's not, yeah. that, it's not that complex, you know? Yeah. Not, it, no one's bringing God into it. It's just common sense logic, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. But, uh, but that, whatever, that's a whole other subject. So, yeah, and that's, again, those um, are people, those are people with big beliefs, you know? They believe the, all these yeah, things, know, right? you like, know? Yeah, and it's like, they, nah. I'd say, I'd say it's like... Uh, that know, was my whole okay. So you, me and me and um, me and Larkin, yeah, <laughs> uh, got in it. We we've always been cool, um, but yeah. we got in it once. Really, that we we had a real big thing go on because uh, on this subject, basically exactly this subject, which was which is basically no one knows which me 
be, ha, saying no one knows shit and Larkin saying science is settled. About what? Everything. Dinosaurs, flat earth, fucking everything. Aliens, God, yeah. you well, know, I, I like everything. About the Literally. Because yeah, Larkin will only come to my page to talk shit. Only come yeah, and he'd yeah. come and he'd just be like, you fucking blah blah, you know, like he gets, he gets very riled up. And so oh, it was sorry. something, yeah, it was, he, he had posted something about, uh, there be something about something real, a big fallacy about the whole flat earth thing or something. And I wasn't even, I'm not even a flat earther. I wasn't even saying that they're right. It was just, he was, he was so concrete sure in what he was saying. And I'm like, you're not. You don't know, yeah. you, <laughs> you know, you, like. You know, like, you know, hold on a second. You, you yeah. know, I always tell people the only way to know definitively, and the only way to know definitively if the planet is flat or not, is you would have to be off world to see and see it from a distance. You can throw all the math in the old yeah. alone self proving that because uh, people on both sides, both the flat Earth people and the globe Earth people, or whatever you want to call it. They both have all this ridiculous math that I, I can't figure out uh, or whatever. When and you get caught up on all that stuff, then it's all, you know, yeah. then it's like, it's a lost cause. I don't even personally think it really <clears throat> matters. It's really my argument where, like, like you know, like my argument with flat earth people, they'll say, and again, I'm not trying to disrespect anyone, but like, you know, I got to the point with these people where they'd say the earth is flat and I'd say, okay, you're right. Now, now what do we do? Yeah. Well, now what? What do we do from there? Because th that's kind of the problem. It doesn't really make a difference what the shape of the planet is. You know, it, what matters is that we're enslaved. And the reason you can't figure out the shape of the planet is because we're enslaved. We're enslaved, yeah. So why, don't we, why don't we focus on the fact that we're enslaved? And then we can get to, you know, other questions like if the Earth is flat or, you know, if it's, you, it's, it's when you, the when you get. Way, when, once we're on, no longer slaves. When you, you know, that, when, that's my main focus. When you start trying to prove that the world is a is a round or flat, then you've lost the whole thing. Um, I, I understand the, the reasons why the powers that be would want us to think that we're on a, a globe, you know, like, and I think they're very well, important on. for our, our, then, our whole then, society to exist. Wait, wait, do me a favor then explain that to me because that's actually one of my major arguments against the flat earth. Yeah. Is so that, like, my argument our entire before. system is set off off the idea of scarcity and that we're we don't that basically that property is scarce. Uh, okay. Natural resources are scarce. Oil is scarce. Gold is scarce. Uh, farmland is scarce. Huh? What does that have to do with the shape, though? That's what I don't understand. If like, we're okay, okay, okay. okay. let me let me let me finish. Oh, okay. <laughs> so scarcity run, scarcity keeps the billionaires trill you know it keeps all the people that really own everything rich it keeps them in power it's the idea of scarcity and we have to pay for all this shit that costs money that because it's hard to get and there's only so much of it so if we're on a globe that's floating in space there's no idea that there's any more abundance out there you know, then it reaffirms the idea that we're, there's not a lot of land and that everything we have is scarce. The but, I, but hold, hold on, but the flat, but the flat Earth people, they, they believe that we are floating in space on a flat plane. Uh, I don't but think that's, that's true. And, oh, and this is where this is where this is this is this is but where I flat Earth people think it goes on forever. Is, no, is I, I think I think we have more space out there. Period. Mm -hmm. I don't care if it's flat. I don't care if it's round. I think there is more natural resources and land out there. And, mm -hmm. and that we have been, you know, we have had thousands of years of propaganda and, and gazillions of dollars spent on convincing us that we're, we're, a tr we're on this little thing, you know, how to, why, how do we escape if we don't know there's a place to escape to, you know, like that kind of a thing. Yeah, right, right. And when they keep control on, you know, Antarctica and they, they, they control all this shit, they control the airspace, they control all this stuff, you know, we have no way of really knowing. No one has actually gone out and see. I think right, we simply kind of have point. more space out there that they're not telling us about. And out there, there's more natural resources and all that shit. We, why, why stay here and be a slave if, if we can go there and be free, you know, like that kind of a thing. That's a better, that, that's a better argument than I've heard thus far. Yeah. Although I still wouldn't necessarily agree with it just, just because like, you know, the fact of the matter is, is there's unlimited natural resources. Like the earth 
creates, like like even yeah. oil, like where it just produces it. Yeah. Like it's possible. Maybe Peak oil is bullshit. It keeps time. making it over and over again. Yeah, but, but maybe we can add or it's problem. simply leaking in from somewhere else, you know, maybe, <laughs> and it's constantly no, no, leaking in maybe. from somewhere else, you yeah, know. Maybe I'm just I forget what the point that I was trying to make though is just that like. So the resource thing is that there's really unlimited resources, unless, like I said, maybe at most we could like use all of it for a time, but the earth will just reproduce more resources. So that's like the best, I guess, answer I've got. I still don't necessarily think that's the reason, but uh, okay, like that that's the best I've gotten so far. And, and, see, like, one of my, 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 main, my main argument against the flat earth thing was I understand why they would tell us that the earth is uh, flat. Because people by naturally are superstitious, so like you know, you they would tell them like, don't go too far, you'll fall off. Yeah, you know, yeah. you know, you know I, I know that that's that, that, that's like a there. you know, that's just something that's been said in history. Um, but yeah, that, that I, I don't, I don't know what the edge like in like I'm saying. I don't believe any of this shit. I I think there is a possibility. There is a very fucking good possibility that there is a lot more land out there than they want us to. And and it goes back to the whole petri dish thing. Like even when I was a kid, um, I think that okay, we're gonna go deep here. So I think well, you, actually, I actually, think you, uh, my phone's gonna die. You want you want to? I can be two you minutes. Know. It's two minutes. Okay, yeah, I yeah. think that we may have been separated from a larger group of people because we haven't yet evolved away from fighting each other. Um, and we might have been that's, separated that's who, that's who created us. away yeah. from a, a pacifist group, you know, that doesn't fight. They didn't want to kill us because they're pacifists. So they simply moved us somewhere where we uh, need to uh, evolve for a couple thousand more years and stop fucking fighting each other. And that's, yeah, that cool. might, that might be, you know, it's like, it's just like ideas like that. Like with the Tartarian shit well, and the flat earth shit, you get a lot of cool ideas in your head that make you open your mind and be like, damn. Yeah, that actually, I, I'm researching quite a bit of depth. I actually do believe that there's a lot of truth to what you said just there. Yeah. Is that like, I would suggest like that the beings that created us were just more advanced evolved human beings. It's even possible that they even live inside of the earth because there are declassified documents that Hitler was into this. And that he actually went into the earth looking for them. Yeah. And again, this isn't speculation. These are yeah. classified documents. You know, yeah. this isn't just some theory. So I, I do believe that there is some, some again, maybe not exactly what you're saying, but something like that did occur or whatever. But um, but anyway, yeah, like I said, my phone is uh, like literally about to die. So you want yeah. to pick it up like next week or something? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's I'll, do it I'll have week. more charge for next time. I'll have some better lighting and stuff. And uh, <laughs> do me a favor. Just, just let people know to follow me on Float or whatever. Yeah. If people see me. I'm looking for I'm trying to make a little bit of a comeback or something, you know, pop off on float. Cause yeah, that's the only place that'll yeah. accept you, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty that's awesome. why everyone, we were all like, dude, you gotta get on float. Like, you'll, you'll kill it there. Yeah, well, I got like 150 people. Yeah, right? and they I'm need, people they I'm need more people, people making, them. they need more people making content yeah. there. They need more people doing it's live really streams there. Dude, it's, it's dope. Just, like, there's just a little bit of, there's a little bit of lag, but like other than that, it works just like. Have Facebook. you seen all the Patreon stuff and how you can get, basically, you could just like get crypto donations yeah, I mean, and I mean, all I mean, that? Yeah, it's. All, least person on earth, yeah, but, but yeah, you're, well, I mean, yeah so it's pretty easy. I just, I literally gonna die. Like, it's, it's yeah, yeah. all right, dude. Oh. All right, always a pleasure. Peace. Peace. I'll talk to you later, Jeff. Peace. Yeah.